So today's video, I'll be uh, attempting to install my Flex Fuel Kit. So, let's go. Zaytronics, I don't know if I'm saying it right, but it's Zaytronics Flex Fuel Kit. So this kit is the one with the gauge. Right off the bat, I mean, you have your gauge. This is the harness for the actual sensor. This is the sensor right here, Flex Fuel. It is a Zaytronics flex fuel sensor so obviously i mean it's branded by Satronics, but it works the same as Sirimoto, uh prl i believe there's aem there's all these other uh brands that make this uh, flex fuel sensor so just for the tension i mean it is there they have these plug and play uh kits uh you can definitely make one your own just pick a flex fuel sensor then a harness and I mean, you're just gonna have to MacGyver the, the lines and all the the plugins. But so one downside of going with this kit was it did not come with the with the fuel lines. So as you can see, I had to kind of MacGyver uh, the fuel lines. So I do have my stock ones here or the stock line. I didn't want to cut it in case something went wrong. I wanted to still have the OEM line. I know there is a uh, grommet i think it's down there i don't know if you can see it but there is a grommet right there where uh this these connectors uh cross the firewall so i'm going to try to access through there i need to cross the firewall so i can uh we'll wire up the gauge as you have to wire up this module right here so one is for the sensor which is which is uh right here that's to the sensor sensor up here uh gauge and signal so the kit does come with uh, a few harnesses so this is the main one for the sensor and this other one is for signal and then this other one is for the gauge so it's pretty straightforward there are two 10 mils right here you could remove them uh, you don't have to it depends if you have a uh, long skinny fingers so just remove this clip just like a retainer so you want to undo these two right here so if you could see there is gonna oh well, yeah loosen it up from here I mean it's just gonna pinch it out so as you can see there are two little green tabs right here you just have to uh, clip them or pinch them close to each other and then pull this that way while still pinching this right here so I'm gonna probably do this off camera because once you do that, it is going to uh, kind of spray some fuel, which is the one here in the line. So make sure your car is warm, uh, cold, or at least warm, not hot. Uh, the exhaust or downpipe literally sits down there. So if it's hot, I mean, chances are it could just ignite or it's just going to spray really hot gas everywhere. So yeah, guys, so <clears throat> I'm going to probably do this off camera, but it's fairly easy like I said just pinch these two and then just pull that one that way so right here same thing you have a retainer pretty much just, just lift up lift up and then kind of wiggle it because once I remove it here in a second I'll show you guys say so remove this one first so you can get all the fuel out and then over here I mean just kind of move it however you feel more comfortable and then just pinch those two and then pull that way so i had to go and uh, buy a spool of wire at lowe's so anyways guys just to show you um there's gonna be a ac line right here so down there is the grommet i don't know if i can get there with the camera but um so if you kind of go in there and move it you can actually expose the little hole that way you don't have to cut through the grommet and what i did is i just fed the wire i just kind of kept uh, feeding it through slowly so now i'm inside and i see it here now i come over here i'm gonna tape the harness here 
and just start from the inside start uh, pulling on the wire just all the way till uh, till I see the the harness uh, fed through all right guys so just like that success we fed the, the harness I'm gonna keep pretty much just pulling on the harness now uh, do go back and forth make sure you're not actually like stretching it and be about to like rip the harness so I'm just gonna leave a little bit slack in the bay that way it's not super tension and then the slack I'm just gonna go around here uh, zip tie it or something back here so pretty much this harness is gonna have four wires and it's gonna go on the box this is gonna go on the box where it says sensor and then over here the signal I believe this is a uh, this is the sense uh, this is the the whole harness for uh, the white band but since we don't have white band pretty much we just need power and ground which red is positive black is ground and then your other one is labeled gauge the other one goes to the gauge so I'm gonna fit the wires through here and I wanted to end up somewhere here just to kind of speed it up because I think Daphne is almost out of uh, work so hopefully we'll go eat something so I just want to finish everything up so this is the uh, oh no that's Honda so this is the harness so I just need to hide this right there and like I said I just need power and ground which is red and black I'm just gonna grab it from here so I do have some vampire clips I don't know what you really call them, just so I don't splice it, that way I can just pinch it and that's it. Because I don't really want to mess too much with the electrical in this car. At least not yet, I'll probably give it some time, but yeah, I'll do that. So these little vampire clips can be uh, a little tricky sometimes, especially if they're old or cheap. You might crimp down and it's not actually splicing through the wire, but maybe sometimes it actually cuts the wire. So just to test it, I'm just going to... Before I'm actually before I put everything up, I want to make sure. So if it's if everything is done correctly, I should get power. There we go. I get light. ECA uh, ethanol content analyzer. So E nothing because I'm running a 91 right now. But at least I know it works. So like I said, gauge is right there. It's gonna be a uh, uh, temporary for now. Man, I gotta clean this little cubby. Uh, so, Alright, so yeah, gauge is gonna be right there. The best I can do is just leave the little wire right there. Uh, I mean, no one's really gonna see it. So I went ahead and tuck in the, this little plate right here. So all the, the little uh, module is all there with the connections. So, like I said, I fed the... I fed this. The harness, I tucked it all the way underneath the carpet. And then over here, that's where it goes all the way through the firewall. So on the bay, the harness comes through right there. I mean, it's not the prettiest, but no one's really gonna see it. I mean, if it bothers me, I can, I can redo it, but for now, that's that. So it plugs in here to the sensor which is right here, which is uh, pretty much just kind of suspended with the zip tie. And then another one over here. Uh, I'm just kind of, I just want to get it done. I mean, I can always come back and uh, make something with cheap metal, like a little bracket that bolts on, kind of like the PRL. They remove this one right here and bolts up to these two uh, bolts in the back. But for now, everything's brushed up, so there's no kink kinks. So, clips there, then I put the little uh, shroud or bracket retainer, so it goes all the way down. Uh, zip tie right here, just to prevent it from kinking. Clipped on, and I put the retainer there. So, I'm going to fire fire up the car, make sure it starts. This is the Satronics Flex Fuel Kit. Uh, flex Fuel Kit for the tension, like I said. Uh, downside is it doesn't come with the fuel line. You kind of have to do that yourself but 
if you can kind of scavenge the parts it's well if you don't want to splice your oem line you need two quarter inch uh, connectors and then the three eighths connectors and then just some fuel line and probably like two three hours of uh labor and i have my gauge working and everything so now the fun part comes finding a e35 e85 e30 e40 fuel um i don't know so stay tuned guys uh, i'll have anna tune me up so we can get some some spoolie uh go fast uh clips gotta get everything done before daphne comes so we can go eat so yeah guys thank you guys for watching as always guys stay wicked